Okay, so what we got here is a Raymond Reach uh, 740 series with an AC lift. Uh, the complaint from the customer is that it would intermittently code out G4. All right, uh, so it came from another company who diagnosed it and what they did was they put in a new steer motor which didn't solve the problem and then afterwards from that they figured it's going to be the main harness as you can see the main harness is new which i i understand the steer motor because that could be a probable um problem with that but the main harness i mean the steering circuit is not included in the main harness it has its own um, harness to it except for the encoders which goes directly to the bm but the steer steering um the power for the motor comes from the steer module which is going to be behind there and then connected to the uh vehicle managers right here so i already have my uh oscilloscope leads hooked up uh, i'm going to show that later and what i am hooked up to so let's try to key on see if the code comes up nothing yet all right so let me try stepping on it the dead man so you hear the chattering okay that's the code that's the code g4 so you hear the chattering from the motor right so when the chattering from the steer motor that's normal it's mean to say that the motor is going uh clockwise counterclockwise basing it from the command from the bm right to move counterclockwise and clockwise just a bit and that would provide a neutral pulse to the bm from the steer module to tell the bm that okay the steer module is alive now even though i have a code if I step on it, I am able to steer. So of course the motor is not going to be of issue anymore. You can see it trying to move forward and backward, right? And um, the code only happens not when you're trying to steer it, but when you let go of the dead man pedal, when you're not trying to operate the steer tiller. So that would say there's no command to steer. It's just in neutral. So that's when the code happens okay so we're going to check for the command we're going to look at the oscilloscope look at the command from the bm for the counter clockwise and clockwise pulses and then we're going to look also as the neutral pulse um when you're stationary so let me key up again let's see if it's going to happen again key off key on again so everything checks out there okay and then Step on the dead man, and sometimes it wouldn't happen. Okay, but then again, it happened right away. Code G4. I know if you can hear that, but you still hear the chattering from the motor, right? So the steer module is still moving. So up the bat, I'm not gonna doubt the counterclockwise clockwise uh, signal from the VM. But I can show that to you here. So the blue trace is hooked up to the clockwise, right? Uh, signal from the BM going to your steer module. And it's always present. And because I am able to steer, I'm able to steer, sorry for the noise, I'm able to steer clockwise and counterclockwise, right? Even with the code happening, you can see it there. So I am not gonna doubt the signal from the BM to tell the uh, steer module to steer the motor clockwise or counterclockwise because otherwise if the signals were in there then uh, this motor would either just steer right but not steer left all right because all the commands come from the BM uh, basing from the steer tiller input to the BM before we proceed to the actual testing of the signals I would just like to look at the book and define what code G4 is about. So in the book, code G4 is an open detected in the steer control circuit for a unit that has an AC lift. Okay, this is what we have, an AC lift motor. So the VM did not detect either neutral pulses at JP6-1 
or the tiller encoder inputs. So the tiller encoder inputs is from the steering wheel. And uh, remember what was happening to the truck was, um, I'm just stepping on the dead man. I have not given the command to steer yet and the G4 would already come up. And so I would be looking at the neutral pulses here. Okay, so Silicope is running. The blue trace, I haven't killed the truck yet. So the blue trace is gonna be the uh, counterclockwise uh, signal from the VM going to the steering module and it is present. Now, the red is going to be our neutral pulse, which is the input to the BM from the steering module. So, let me key up this truck again. Okay, it drops down to zero. Let's look at, we adjust this. So, I'm at zero right now. Okay, let me key on again. Okay, so after that, you see this. Do not be confused with this as being a signal. That is just noise. All right, so you see it here, and you see it here, but this is not how the uh, neutral pulse is supposed to look like. Okay, let me stand on or step on the dead man. There you go. I will see it, let you see it again. It's a G4 code, right? And there was no change. Let me stop this for a bit. Let's go back. There was no change really on the line, the red, which is the neutral pulse. So this, as you can see, it's not a square wave. It's just noise. It's just noise. It's not a square wave. So to me, on the bat, if the VM is sending a signal to the steer module, right, and the steer module is supposed to respond with the neutral pulse, once there is no command to steer left or right, then this would already point me to a, a steer module. Now, right, um, so what I'm going to do right now, I have more evidence right now to point me to a steer module. Uh, we're going to replace the steer module and then we're going to check it again. And okay, see the so difference. what we did right now is we just grab a steer module from another truck, just to test it out. So, of course, the cable I'm hooked up right now. I didn't I didn't do the uh, counter or clockwise pulse from the BM anymore. I'm just going to look at the uh, neutral pulse, and that neutral pulse is going to be coming from the steer module. So hooked up the same. Let us key it on. Let's turn on the. Um, Oscilloscope. So right now, I'm just hooked up to one channel, channel A, to the neutral pulse. Okay, let's key on. Okay, so the same signal. You see, that's the noise that I was talking about. Okay, so now it's gone through this help test. Okay, now I'm going to step on the dead man. And there's the big difference there, right there. Okay, step up the dead man, pause this for a bit, all right, and this is what we were missing from the original steer module. That square wave uh, that is supposed to be coming from the steer module to the BM to tell the BM that the steer module is working and is alive, all right, so I guess this one, I mean, uh, we can call this one a fix.